Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll explain why it's super important to test fuses and relays and not to just assume that a fuse is good or bad because that may cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang 6th genera generation excuse me, between year 2015 and year 2023. If you have one of those, you're trying to find the fuse for the rain sensor, automatic wipes, windshield wipers. Stay with us guys, we'll explain where that fuse is located, why it's important to test fuses and where you can buy cheap fuses and relays at a fraction of the price. All that will be covered today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything guys. Anything from engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. What we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information. And if you guys need to buy any uh, replacement fuses, relays, because some of those could be really expensive the parts store any parts any tools for your car check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so let's start on it now so we should work guys on multiple years and uh, engines for Mustang specifically we have a 2018 GT V8 5.0 but even if you have the 2.3 4 cylinder it will work as well check out how cool that is guys we don't even need to support our hood we have a special video that explains how to support hood lift system on Ford Mustang and it takes only a few minutes and it's amazing amazing investment in my opinion this is the fuse box right here in order to open it guys you're going to press right there open the lid on the back side guys right here you're going to have the fuse numbers and the relays printed and that layout here corresponds to what we have specifically here it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below okay now if you need to buy replacement fuses relays because some of those at the parts store are really special or you may need to go to the dealership they may cost you more check out the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a fraction of the price the, re uh, the fuse that we need to check guys will be in that fuse block right here talking about that thing right there which fuse we need we're going to need fuse number 72 which will be that fuse guys right here that will be the third fuse from top to bottom on the right side in that row hopefully guys the video will be helpful if you need anything else let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time